Are you characterizing a microwave device with mixed frequencies? Do you want to look at sidebands of your center frequency to gain a more complete picture of the dynamics of your device? Hello, I'm Olivier, and today I will introduce the latest enhancement for our microwave lock-in amplifiers, the Modulation Analysis Option, or Mod Option for short. The mod option is an add-on option for your lock-in amplifier which enables frequency mixing and handling of sidebands at gigahertz frequencies. The mod option leverages the multi-frequency capability of our lock-in amplifiers in order to generate and demodulate sidebands directly, removing the need for cascaded demodulation. Let's now take a look at how to set it up in the Lab1 control software. Here I have one of our GHFLI lock-in amplifiers. Let's simulate a generic modulated carrier. I set the carrier frequency of 1.3 GHz. I enable the module, enable the carrier output and turn on the signal output. Now let's look at the generated signal by looping it back into the input of the instrument. In the scope, we see the carrier frequency of 1.3 GHz with an amplitude modulation of 10 kHz. I can also look at the sidebands using, using the Spectrum Analyzer tool. I can, of course, adjust my center frequency as well as the modulation. AM and FM are the most common modulation. However, the mod option allows for any integer combination of the two frequencies. It can generate or demodulate any harmonic of the sideband and carrier with a controlled phase with respect to the carrier, the sideband, or both. One key feature of the mod option is that we can also use the oscillators to directly demodulate the sidebands and recover the amplitude and phase of the modulation, removing the necessity of using two cascaded demodulation steps. This module is useful for many applications. Optomechanical devices, where multiple optical and mechanical modes are coupled. MEMS and NEMS sensors, where nonlinear effects couple modes. In scanning probe microscopy, it can be used to analyze the interaction of a microwave field with a scanning tip. Beyond generating and measuring modulated signals, the mod option, combined with the PID option, also enables feedback schemes like pound travel hall or dual frequency resonance tracking, now possible over the full spectrum covered by lock-ins from the millihertz to the gigahertz. Did I raise your interest? Could you use the mod option in your gigahertz experiment? If so, please reach out to us. We look forward to learning about your applications and helping set up your ideal measurement. If you want to learn more about the capabilities of our microwave lock-in amplifiers, you can have a look at our videos or click the link in the description. Thank you for watching and goodbye.